Acting Judge Kubas Miller said the six will remain in custody as they had ample opportunity to apply through normal court procedures but delayed the application for their freedom. The application was to have their arrest warrants set aside and for them to be released from custody. The suspects include Namibia's former Minister of Fisheries and Marine Resources, Bernard Esso, and the former Minister of Justice, Saki Shangala, as well as former Managing Director of Investec Namibia, James Hatwikulipi. All three have since resigned from their high-profile positions after allegations of bribery, corruption, fraud and money laundering were exposed in the media. The other three, Ricardo Gustavo, also a manager at Investec, who has since been suspended, Tamson Hatuikulipi, cousin of James Hatuikulipi, and also son-in-law of Bernard Esso, as well as Pius Mwatelulo. The acting judge said that for any matter to be heard on an urgent basis, the applicant must set out explicit circumstances for urgency, as well as reasons why redress could not be sought through the normal court proceedings. It is immediately apparent that the facts are painted on a wide canvas and in broad strokes. They lack important detail and remain vague, glossing over material facts and lacking a clear understanding of what led to the ultimate delay. It is not clear from the explanation, for instance, what application was submitted to whom on 2 December 2019. It is not clear who, in quotation marks, approved the so-called application on 11 December 2019. The delay from 2 to 9 December 2019 is not explained at all. It is not clear what draft application was emailed to Advocate Vassoni only on 12 December 2019. Acting Judge Miller said the applicants abandoned a bail application on the 2nd of December, at least for the time being, leaving the matter to linger. He said the facts around the delay in filing their urgent application remain vague and the application was not explained at all. It is evident that such delay was to a large extent caused by the applicants and thus self-created. It is correct, as was submitted, that cases involving personal liberty should be treated with jealous regard to the objects of the Constitution. However, the right to personal liberty as guaranteed in Article 7 of the Constitution is not an absolute right. Acting Judge Miller removed the matter from the court roll and instructed the applicants to pay the respondents' legal costs.